Carl, I've got a couple of little facts for you, just to try and in inflame your imagination. Go on. Sharks are immune to cancer. Are they? Yeah. So what... How have they found that out? Well, I don't know, but... But I've, I've never heard of any fish having cancer, though. I haven't heard of a, a cod being ill. <laughs> so why are we focusing on that one? <laughs> Good point. OK. Stroking a spider can cause its hair to fall out. <laughs> What, because it's, it doesn't like it and it gets stressed out, or is it just that some people are rubbing too hard? No, I don't think it's they're rubbing too hard. I think it's something to do with... It, it, I mean, what sort of maniac is stroking a spider anyway? My mum did it once. Really? Yeah, not, not to a spider. No. It was uh, just a little bee. <laughs> She'd been out, um, sunny day and that. Uh, got the washing off the washing line. Yeah. She was bringing it in. Little bee sat on the top of like the bed sheet or whatever it was. Yeah. And um, she's in the kitchen with it, and she goes, "Look at that little bee there." She started sort of stroking its stroking its head. And it loved it. <laughs> How did it make it clear that it loved it? Well, it wasn't. It wasn't struggling. It was just sat there, like because it must have been like a bit dozy. They get a bit dozy, don't they, in the uh, in the heat and that. Yeah. And uh, it just stayed there on the sheet, and she sort of stroked its head for a bit. And she had to put it out. It didn't go out. It didn't try and escape. It was like, you've had enough now. Uh, <laughs> that was that. was that. She sent it out. <laughs> she loved all that. She loved little flies and stuff. And We had Harry the house fly. What? We said, Harry the house fly. What do you mean? It's just a fly that always seems to knock about in one corner of the room. Right, it's the same fly, was it? Yeah, it was the same fly. How yeah. do you know it was the same fly? So whenever she saw a fly, she went, oh, look, it's back. Well, it's, we weren't letting him in. It's just that it stayed in. Carl, what makes you think it was a pet house fly as opposed to a different fly every day? Because it was always in the same place in the corner. But it could have been that something of that particular place that attracted flies rather than it was the same fly. Well, I'm never worried about it. It's not. It wasn't harming us. It's just. It just always hung about. But how do you know it was the same fly? How do you recognise it? We weren't worried about it. It, does, it doesn't matter, does it? If, if like, we're thinking another fly is getting a bit of free rent or something, just, no, just let it let it stay. I don't understand what. But why? why no, no, well, no. I right, okay. You in a house, right? There's flies, okay. Not flies, fly. What? Why do you think it was the same fly for all those years? Just because we haven't got loads of other flies. At no point was there a crossover period where there's two, and it's like, hang on a minute, he's trying it on here. <laughs> That's what I mean. It was always just one on its own. <laughs> and we just thought, leave it, it's all right. I don't know why... Why are you suspicious? Why do you always think someone's out to do you? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. I don't know why you assumed when you see a fly every now and again that it's exactly the same fly. It the just fact was. That it's Harry. The one in our house was the same one. How do you know? <laughs> well, all right, I don't, but I'd, at no point did I feel suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of flies, though, and that... Um, They've got one, right? I was out with Ricky, right, and he was reading the paper. There was a story there about a fly that its eyesight was bad or something, and they've made it a pair of glasses, and it had a picture of a housefly wearing... OK, this is this is incredible, Steve. Glasses. Can I can I take over? Uh, hang on, let me just just need to finish a couple of questions for that. So he's got... There's a small fly, and they've made it a pair of glasses yeah. so that it can see better. Yeah. And your concern is what? Well, again, it's just that thing of... We're looking after everything now, aren't Sorry, we? I've got to come in here, Steve. All right. I showed you, you the story. Saw it. You saw it. It was a picture of a, a house fly, fly with a pair of glasses, glasses right? on. Yeah. Right? It was about a one-sentence thing. Mm. It was about how far technology's come. Yeah. And, and a group of scientists out. using um, microscopy, right, and uh, um, uh, laser tools had, as an exhibition, shown that they could make a pair of glasses smaller to fit on a house. They put it on there and they'd taken a picture of it and it's on uh, display. At no point was it actually, because the fly had bad eyesight, the fly was presumably dead, it was purely an art installation or a show of technology. I thought you were going to say, Rick, that you'd drawn the uh, glasses on there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he believed it like, there's a bearded lady in this paper. <laughs> no. Yeah. My, God, my God, Tony Blair looks like Adolf Hitler. <laughs> no. What, what do you think of that, though? But they did well, it as an experiment. 
Yeah, but all things start as an experiment. But why would they make a pair of glasses but for a fly? How, how would they know he had short, a bad eyesight? How would they know it was the same fly? Bumping into stuff. I don't know. Bumping into stuff. It's just, it's just that thing, innit, of human nature is something's wrong with something, let's fix it. And they, and they try and help people out all the time, don't they? When no. you, you know, We are, we're always doing it. We're always trying to help people out. Instead of just going, you've been dealt a duff card, cope with it. <laughs> Came up with a good idea. We'll um, be the judge of that. Mm. Uh, well, I, I do it now. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I, I'm sticking my neck out here. Um, but yeah. uh, I right. think this isn't going to be a good idea. Okay. Thoughts? Well, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to second that motion. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we're, let's see if we're both right. See through skin. <laughs> <laughs> High five, Rick. 